today, when you get up in the morning, you can start listening to music from Spotify on your tablet. You can jump on your bike and start listening from your phone. You can start watching a movie on Netflix while on the train and then finish when you get home on another device. But today, when you start studying at a university, this is what you meet. Inconvenient, super expensive, heavy textbooks. Today, only 2% of the textbook industry is digitalized. And why hasn't this industry evolved like most other content industries in the world? In Lix, we've created a convenient study platform for students in higher education, targeting primarily university students. It's available across most of your devices. Your books are, on average, 60% cheaper. And it's all digital. It's always accessible. And it's super convenient, most of all. So the first three years in Lix, we spent the time onboarding the publishers, trying to convince them that we were the platform to go with. And we spent a lot of time building the product. So it was this game of get, building a little bit of product, getting s through security audits with publishers, like cyber security teams or whatever, um, and getting a little bit of textbooks on board as well. So we've been playing that game for a couple of years, getting a little further in each area. And as you see on the graph, it, uh, it's taken a couple of years to get where we are today. But today, we have more than 600,000 textbooks on our platform, and we work with more than 7,000 publishers worldwide, especially the big ones, Pearson, McGraw-Hill, Wiley, all the international ones. But this is a really, really hard industry to get into. Uh, I tried the first time back in 2013, went bankrupt with the first company. Um, first of all, I didn't, I didn't have a clue what I was doing, but that's a different story. Um, but the reason for this is that the publishers are really hard to get distribution agreements with, especially in education. It's a massive cash cow for them to keep publishing new editions, uh, putting new, uh, the new editions on the reading list for the students to pay for the party. Yeah, we actually even tried offering money up front to some of the publishers. We didn't have the money. But um, we tried that, and it, that didn't even work. But this is because of the piracy issue in, in the industry, because the incentive to do piracy in music is quite high, or was quite high before Spotify came along. But in the textbook industry, the price point is so much higher, and you're not choosing to buy the product yourself. Your professor is choosing it for you. So to get into this industry, you need to address what is called the broken market. It, it, in many ways, it, it, it uh, reminds of the pharmaceutical industry, where you have the publishers that produce the products, which in, which in this case are the textbooks. Then they have a massive sales force going to the professors to make them adopt the book for the mandatory reading lists that the students then have to pay for. <clears throat> And because of this, the inflation in the market has just kept going over the last 40 years. And it's actually risen more than the housing market, the medical industry, and many other industries as well. Um, but the students are forced to pay up, so uh, there's not really much to, for them to do here. For the same reason, only 40% of students today buy their textbooks. The rest do piracy and secondhand. So in Lix, we needed to become the marketplace addressing all three. Uh, publishers get engagement data directly from the students. They have a system uh, that, that we provide them with where they can go directly to the publishers, uh, to the professors, sorry, uh, and send what is called a teaching example. Right today, uh, a teaching example is posted physically by, by mail. They spend a lot of resources doing that. Um, but we've made it possible for them to do it within 15 seconds. Professors can teach in Lix directly, free of charge, and students have um, their platform as well. But one second. Yeah, but this is just the beginning. What we can do now is 
we have the publisher data pro uh, providing uh, the CRM for the publishers that target the professors. And then we know exactly which professors adopt a book. And that gives us the data of which students to, to target in our sales activities. And more students provides more data, provides more uh, lecture uh, teaching examples, and so forth. Today, the book is the center of education, especially in higher education, with a teeny bit of technology around it. Around it. Um, you know, an e-book is not super sexy and is not very interesting compared to a normal book. But we want to make technology the big part of this and make the book much uh, less significant by creating automated summaries, social highlighting, memory training, and, and uh, this kind of things. And in the end, we want to be the platform that takes in all kinds of educational content, no matter if it's video, VR, just a simple thing as audiobooks. And then it's our job to tailor that specifically to each student. So our long-term goal is to become a platform for personalized education, not only focusing on the literature, but that is just step one of the journey. Thank you. <laughs>